Hey, 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 it's your boy Hood, pastor of Full Impact Ministries, the social media ministry that bring gut-wrenching truth about God's true nature towards us, saying, it's your motto, you like it, through the scriptures, yep. Listen, I pray everything is going well with you. I pray everything is going wonderful. I pray that you are really getting to understand God's true nature towards you. I pray that you're crying out to him in the midnight hour. I just pray that you are going through an awesome time in him. I want to present something to you that prayerfully, prayerfully, prayerfully this will help. Prayerfully, this will help you to understand God's true nature. That's my whole ministry is to try to present God's true nature to us. Because I be seeing this stuff on social media where folks, look, if, if you're not careful and if you don't have any scriptural knowledge, you would think that you would need a doctorate just to say hello to God. These jokers make it difficult to even want to deal with God. And I'm telling you right now that it's often it's false doctrine and it's of the devil. It's of the devil to keep you from pursuing God because you want to make it hard and difficult and impossible. I mean, these jokers, boy, they want you to go to 16 theologian schools and you got to sacrifice calves and dogs and cats and frogs and everything else. Like, my God, you got to do all this here to get to God? That is not truth. Let me give you some scriptures on what's the truth by getting connected to God. Listen to what Jesus said over in the Gospel of John, chapter 17. This is his last prayer before he went on and checked up out of here for you. Watch this. I'm going to make it personal. I have to. Uh, for me. Thank you, Jay Boogie. I appreciate you, player. Appreciate you. Look at what he said over in John chapter 17, verse 3. This is Jesus talking. This is his prayer. This is Jesus, the Christ, my man, a.k.a. is Jay Boogie. This is his prayer, God in the flesh. I know a bunch of y'all I know a bunch of y'all don't even believe that Jesus is God. I pray y'all grow up out of that foolishness. I pray you grow up out of that. Listen, John chapter 17, verse 3. This is what it said. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God. And Jesus Christ said, man, whom you have sent. That's eternal life. Eternal life is not somewhere way up in heaven. No, no. Eternal life is down here right now when you receive Jesus the Christ as your Lord and Savior. That's where eternal life is. Right there with him. Because we all will have eternal life somewhere. Whether it be in heaven. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. That, that boy is, boy, there's another spot. Yep. It's called hell. But we gonna have eternal life, and he's talking about, and this is life eternal. This is eternal life with him, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. That's it. That's it. These folks, all these here religions and all this other stuff, and especially the uh, the uh, Hebrew Israelites. Well, you got to follow the laws of Moses. You got to follow. You got to do it. And they ain't doing none of it. And you got to do this here. You got to, you got to burn calves. And you got to take your offering all the way to Israel. And, and burn it. And wait for God to sit there. You got to eat it. And, and you can't leave. And you got to get the manna from heaven to come down. No. Let, this is my last scripture, McGee, right here. This is my last scripture. Over in Psalms chapter 51. Psalm of David. David had the heart of God. <laughs> God told Samuel, he said, I found a man. Come on, boy. I want him to say it about me. 
whose heart, shoo, my Lord, is out the mind. Hey, Jesus. I'm talking about as jacked up as David was. God said, here's a man. <laughs> show my Lord. Show you you ain't got to be perfect. Show you that. Here's a man who's hard. Boy, I can't stand this one here. This is rough. It's out the mind. And David did some, ooh. David had to do one of the most bogus, bogus um, uh, adultery acts in the Bible. David was bogus. David was bogus. God said, here's a man, my Lord, whose heart is out the mind. Listen to what he said over in Psalm 51, verse 7. No, no, no I'm going to start um, over in 14. Psalm 51, verse 14. This is King David. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, the God of my salvation. And my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, or else I would give it. Watch this here. You do not delight in burnt offering. Watch this. Here we go, and I'm done. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. Hey, a broken and contrite heart. These, oh God, you will not despise. A contrary heart is a deep sorrow for what you've done. It's a deep sorrow. So you go into God and you are, man, man, look, man, look, I'm bogus. I'm bogus. And I need to get to know you, man. Man, I need to get to know you. I'm ignorant without you, man. Help me. The scripture says a broken and a contrite heart he would not despise. Man, stop listening to these here folk trying to tell you that you got to do all this here stuff to talk to God, to get a relationship with God. It's not true. God wants you to come with you and all your mess so that he can deal with you. Not you dealing with you. Not nobody else dealing with you. He wants you to come to him so he can deal with you and so he can purge you. He can prune you so that you'll be able to bring forth much fruit. A relationship with God is not difficult. People have made it difficult. It's your boyhood, Pastor Full Impact Ministries. God is not difficult to be in relationship with. And I'm out.